They are getting forced to do something that no kid has ever done before. It is not in any way normal, extremely hazardous environment. In zero visibility, I was very scared. It's an extreme cave system. It, it's very long. It's one of the longest in Thailand. It's about nine kilometers long. It's a complex system of tunnels. There was a, the, the, the smallest part was about a half a meter high restriction. We were taking uh, turns with the British team in laying fixed ropes, uh, making way to this uh, to this room where they suspected the uh, the kids would be. How how many of you? Thirteen. Brilliant. helping out, uh, placing tanks, and every time I would come up, he would come and shake my hand and, and ask information, the right questions, so it's a real, real shame. We essentially strapped a cylinder to the front of the child. Uh, they had a, a full face mask, which is a, a way of making sure that they, they can breathe. We had a handle on, on, the, on the back of the child, so we were able to man maneuver them in, in that way. When I saw the, the diver and the, and the kid in the horizon, I still didn't know if it was a casualty or if it was a kid. But when I saw that, that he was alive and breathing and seemed to be all right, yeah, I, I, it felt very good. It felt very good.
ันครับสุขภาพแข็งแรงดีครับอีกครับอีก How cool these small kids are, you know. And thinking about they've been kept in 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 a in a small cave for for two weeks. They haven't seen their mom. Uh, incredibly uh, strong kids. Uh, uh, yeah, unbelievable.